Hello everybody, I hope everyone's having a great day so far. Hope all of you having a great weekend. Now this is your third stimulus check update, third stimulus package update, and news report. Two Democrats voting against the plan, Kurt Schrader from Oregon and Jared Golden from Maine. Now, uh, Golden from Maine put out this statement. I want to read it in part. Unfortunately, the path congressional leaders have chosen goes far beyond these key provisions to the tune of hundreds of billions of dollars after supporting $4 trillion in emergency COVID relief in 2020. As most of you already know, the House of Representatives has just passed the stimulus bill. If you want to know the exact date as to when you should expect to receive the third stimulus payment from Congress, then be sure to stay until the end of the video. Because in this very important video, I'll be discussing the breaking news from Congress. I'll be telling you exactly how much your third stimulus check will be and when you should expect to receive it. And also don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click the notifications bell. I won't support trillions more in funding that is poorly targeted or in many cases not necessary at this moment in time. Neil, while this bill covers just about everything Democrats wanted, it does not allow that $15 minimum wage proposal, as you mentioned, because the Senate parliamentarian said, listen, this cannot happen in the Senate when it makes its way over here. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi addressed the minimum wage issue on the floor. Listen. The $7.25 minimum wage that exists now is in many instances, in many instances, an exploitation of the American worker. And it is a cost to taxpayers because the minimum wage workers need food and housing assistance. The fact that Rev, as you know, this, this week, we acknowledge the, and you know, part of um, what we must do as a nation, all of us is, is recognize the loss and the grief so many families who because of the nature of this virus weren't able to be with their loved one during their last days on earth and so when i think about the history and i think about what we then have a responsibility to do to 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 carry the baton as our role in in the ongoing history i do think about this moment in the context of so much suffering and loss and how it has disproportionately impacted. At around 2 a.m., the House of Representatives passed President Joe Biden's massive $1.9 trillion COVID-19 relief package. It passed largely along party lines. Two Democrats, Jared Golden of Maine and Kurt Schrader of Oregon, joined all Republicans in voting against the package. Among the many items in the vital assistance bill, the sixth round of aid so far, $1,400 direct payments to qualified individuals and families. I'll be giving away five $100 Amazon gift cards. All of them for free. But folks, that only happens if we're able to get my channel to 75,000 subscribers. So if you want to enter the giveaway, this is what you have to do is subscribe to my channel, turn on post notifications, give this video a like, and leave me a comment down below telling me how much you think our third stimulus check should be. And also folks, don't forget to share my videos with your friends and family because I'm sure they will like the most up-to-date and reliable stimulus check news. So remember folks, let's get my channel to 75,000 subscribers. The Republicans have just proposed a new stimulus bill with new stimulus checks. In the last ditch effort to counter the $1.9 trillion stimulus package passed by the US House of Representatives, Arizona Republican Paul Gossar submitted an amendment that slashed non-relief spending and offered $10,000 stimulus checks instead. And many are on Medicaid. This is corporate welfare. Okay, so $15 minimum wage is the ultimate goal. President Biden says he is for that. Now is just not the right time. Meanwhile, you look at a company like Costco, the CEO just announced they're going to hike their minimum wage from $15 to $16 an hour. Neil. David, thank you very, very much. Uh, as David pointed out, we're going to be hearing from the President of the United States in about an hour. He'll be addressing the nation from the Roosevelt Room, uh, perhaps to sort of lend his um, you know, own interest in getting this thing done in the Senate, but it's going to be an uphill battle. Representative, Representative Paul Gosar sent a statement to Fox News. I offered an amendment to prioritize $10,000 stimulus checks to Americans most affected by lockdowns, most affected by the pandemic and the lockdowns. Instead, Democrats chose foreign aid, big tech transit, and Pelosi's political priorities over direct relief to American citizens. Everybody tell me in the comments down below, do you support a third stimulus check of $10,000?
The Gold Star's amendment called for the removal of 10 agenda items of the American Rescue Plan. The proposal was an attempt to show that by removing non-pandemic non related funding, Congress would be able to provide substantially more cash in hand for the U.S.'s most financially vulnerable. But the American Rescue Plan was already passed by the Democrats by a 219 to 212 vote, with Representative Jared Golden of Maine and Kurt Schrader of Oregon crossing party lines to vote against the bill. Representative Golden said his decision to vote against the bill was due to the amount of spending not related to the pandemic. During challenging times, the country needs its elected leaders to work together to meet the most urgent needs in their communities. This bill, this bill addresses urgent needs and then buries them under a mountain of unnecessary or untimely spending. He also added, in reviewing the bill in its full scope, less than 20% of the total spending addresses the challenges related to the pandemic. Now folks, even with the narrow thin margins in the 50-50 divided Senate, with Vice President Kamala Harris as a tie-breaking vote, two Democratic senators have already said they're opposed to the minimum wage measure in the bill. In regards to unemployment benefits, the extra, 300, the extra weekly amount in unemployment benefits would be increased to $400 a week, up from the current $300, and would be expended through the end of August. Currently, they are set to expire on March 14th. Biden's plan would also extend the program that provides jobless benefits to workers who typically do not qualify for regular benefits. The plan would also put in place a federal moratorium on evictions and foreclosures until the end of September, and would allocate billions of dollars towards food insecurity. Now folks, I know many of you are asking the question of, when is the stimulus checks, where are the stimulus payments, and how much money am I going to receive? Well, here's the answer. The proposed checks are larger than two previous rounds, and will pay up to $1,400 to individuals, including dependents of any age, and $2,800 to married couples. And you should receive your stimulus check by mid-March when the bill is approved. The red cash payments are part of a $1.9 trillion economic package called the American Rescue Plan that's making its way through Congress. The House already approved the bill on February 27th, and it will go to the Senate, where it is likely to be amended before a final vote. So that is all the news in today's video, folks. Hopefully you guys found this video, hopefully you guys found this video useful and helpful. And if you did, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click the notifications bell. I truly appreciate everyone's amazing support. You guys are awesome. And until next time, have a great day and stay safe. Now for those of you on SSI and SSDI, a third stimulus check could arrive as soon as next month. And here's every way new qualification rules could affect SSDI and SSA recipients and SSI recipients like yourself. If you receive Social Security Disability Insurance and SSI benefits, you might be wondering if you will be eligible for the third stimulus check of $1,400.